All right, well, we're excited to be here with our partner, BSC Canada, and uh, Sean's gonna take us through the showroom and tell us a little bit about the equipment and uh, things that we've got going on here. Yep, yeah. uh, thanks, Tim. Thanks, Michael Vellum, for coming by, joining BSC. You're a great partner. Always uh, great to work with you guys, and uh, I'm happy to have you here. So, Sean, you've got a pretty wide variety of equipment uh, that you're showing yep. this week. And so tell us a little bit about the Rover A and kind of some of the differences as we go through here. All right, so the Rover A, this is our pod and rail. This is a five axis machine. It's a five by 10. It's got a 17.4 horsepower uh, liquid chilled electro spindle on there. Currently at the show right now, what we're showing on this, we are doing a curved molding with a horizontal profiling head. So this is taking this from one you know, uh, large piece of solid wood and profiling the arch moldings. Uh, we are also doing on this machine, styles and rails for doors, as well as hinges and lock cutouts as well. For cabinet door production, we have what we call a shape and sand. Anybody doing uh, solid wood cabinet doors or MDF uh, profile doors, uh, adding the profile lip, we are shaping and then we're doing a quick tool change that will actually come out with a sanding head. So we call that a shape and sand, uh, keeping the reference always in the same spot to make sure we get the accurate uh, profile and, and sand on these doors. So that's what we're running right now on the Rover A5 axis. This machine is also equipped with a large drilling block. Uh, so anybody doing cabinet production, uh, cutting from a panel saw uh, that requires drilling, vertical horizontal drilling, this has a big DH29, which we call a boring head 29. Uh, so it's got vertical, uh, horizontal drilling, as well as grooving in the X and the Y. Uh, so great for cabinet production and exactly what you guys would be pushing out from, uh, from Microvellum. So as a five axis machine here, uh, that would come with the B-Solid software to be able to address those, you know, kind of uh, carvings and uh, the curved moldings and that sort of thing, but also give you the flexibility to use it as a standard three axis with Microvellum output. Uh, absolutely, to be able to absolutely, yeah. And, and, you know, so posting from Microvellum or running through B-Solid, uh, we can do either or. Um, you know, it, it, that's the flexibility of working with B-Solid and how Microvellum, you know, post direct in there without any issues whatsoever. Uh, as you know, we're obviously a great partner and you guys have no issues posting to basically any of the BSC machines, which is which is a great, uh, great partnership and a great tool. So, um, but yeah, all of these programs currently right now on here were designed and developed in B-Solid. Uh, so, you know, it, it is a full 3D CAD CAM software uh, and then unique to the five axis, uh, we do not need to lock our five axis in place. It's a direct drive five axis with continuous interpolation. Uh, so this is very unique to BSU where we have a 360 degree with no rewind or no belts or, 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 uh, or cables to rewind in that five axis head. So very unique to BSU on that. So as we go through, um you've got you know, a variety of different types of machines. So a lot of times a customer might have a nesting machine and then they might use something here like this Helix um, to do their horizontal mooring. This Helix here, uh, it's actually called an Helix K6. It's our K6 version. And what's unique to, about the K6 version is that we have three vertical and three horizontal drills on this. Unlike the traditional dowel machine that is a single dowel uh, or a single horizontal drill and inserting only a dowel, we actually have something nice on this one where we can have dowel insertion. Uh, and then we have with the three vertical, three horizontal as uh, small axes that we can have, you know, for different fittings, cam locks, different things like that, that we can actually drill for the holes on there as well. So very unique on that sense as well. Uh, currently right now we have this machine set up, you know, for guys that are running their standard bloom machine where there's a lot of manual adjustments. We actually have a laser that is reading the size of the panel and we have it set up also to do hinges. So very quick on the hinge setup. And as you know, posting from Microvellum, we can barcode scan here. So any programs that are being sent out, quick barcode scan, calls up the program, operators very quick, puts that in. This has an automatic startup. So there's no, we have foot pedals here for longer parts, but with the sensors, this has an automatic startup that will automatically start and start cutting as soon as the operator puts the, uh, the panel inside. So very, you know, a, a nice setup for, for an ease of use. So for a machine like this, because it has the laser, that really gives the flexibility to be able to either uh, create the programs in Microvellum and you know scan a barcode and do that, or simply set up the drilling layout inside of Microvellum to uh, match what's said in the parametric program in here, so you don't need any programming. Absolutely. Programming on this is very simple, but obviously, right. if you're posting from the office and you've already got your whole cabinet set up, your layout, the, the flow and the production, 
having what you guys are sending out to this machine is a seamless uh, transition there. So then you've got uh, a vertical CNC here as well. What we're offering here today and what we're showing here today is our Brema Echo 2.1. Brema is the first in vertical CNC. So very unique and you know, this is where we pride ourselves to say, hey, you know, uh, everybody that had the horizontal drilling, BSE was the first after they integrated Brema into BSE to give the vertical uh, drilling. So on this, we have an eight position tool changer uh, that can house aggregates, okay? So for grooving in Y, uh, for hinges, uh, where we just showed hinges on the Elix, uh, we have a hinge aggregate on here that we can hit those holes in one, one spot, in one shot, I should say. Uh, so a big BH23, so a boring head 23. A lot of cabinet part drilling, which is what this machine is really uh, utilized for. The other nice unique thing about this is that we use grippers Again, with your programming where, where you mentioned before, you send down your program. If you're barcode scanning, you know, coming off the panel saw or coming off the CNC, the nested CNC, you scan and there's no setup for the operator. Grippers come in, they move into position, they pull it into the machine, and it will basically move the grippers out of the way where the drills and holes have to be added. It's a batch one machine. This is kind of our mid version. And uh, we also offer new, uh, our Brema Echo 1.1, uh, which comes with a four position drill block. And then we have our bigger machine, which is for cabinet parts that are higher in Y, uh, which will give us the flexibility to hit up to four feet or 48 inches in the Y axis, which is our Echo 2.2. Our Echo and then as far as uh, nesting machines, you got lots of options, but here you've got something a little different. We're very well known in the CNC world and for nesting and uh, uh, with our nested base cells, so our loading and offloading. Uh, unfortunately, with the sign of the times and, and inventory levels where they are and, and customers expecting machines right away, uh, we brought in our Rover J. Uh, our Rover J on this one is kind of a unique setup because it's really a, a plastics machine uh, that our wood guys can use as well. Uh, so we have on this one a little bit different uh, setup because we have oscillating knives, we have a tangential knife, uh, along with our 12 horsepower electro spindle on this particular model here. Uh, so we are still capable of cutting MDF doors. Uh, we're still capable of, you know, cutting the, the, the boxes. Uh, you know, so all the ca cabinet parts and components are still, you know, flexible on this. Uh, this is a great machine for a smaller cabinet shop. As we can see, the footprint is really small. So a small cabinet shop, 3,000 square feet. Uh, this along with an edge bander would be, you know, a fantastic start for any, for any company. Um, and as I say, we, we obviously grow bigger. Uh, you know, we, we'd love to show a little bit more, but as I say, it's uh, with, with, with customer demands and uh, that, that, that supersedes what we're gonna show in the showroom today. We offer a full line, full range of equipment. So from CNC, edge banders, panel saws, uh, drilling, as we just seen with the Echo, uh, sanders, uh, you know, very well versed in the wind store, uh, material management systems as well. Uh, so currently on the showroom floor, we have kind of our entry level edge bander, which is going to be our Akron 1100 series. Fully loaded machine minus the corner round. Okay, so for a small cabinet shop, as I mentioned, we have the Rover J. This would be a perfect complement. You know, if you're making, you know, five kitchens a week or five kitchens a month, these are the two machines that would really propel sort of the business and, and give you that flexibility, uh, you know, to, to move forward and, and kind of grow the business if you're just starting out. Behind that, we have our Akron 1400 model, uh, which is a fully NC controlled machine. So unlike the 1100 where we have to do manual adjustments, uh, the 1440 here that we have is gonna be all NC controlled from the touchscreen. So any of the programs that we're gonna require, we can pull up a uh, very quick, flexible machine. Uh, so all the programs are pre-arranged, makes it operator simple because the operator no longer has to get inside that machine to make the manual adjustments. Uh, so this is where, you know, we, we find the industry pushing a lot more to the fully automatic machines, fully automated, and, uh, you know, to, to keep it, you know, simple with the operators, especially right now, you know, kind of with the workforce, with the availability of the different people that, uh, that or the lack of people we can pull into our industry, uh, this is where the simplicity is going to come along. And does that machine give you the ability to barcode scan off of something Abs that we would call yep. in a program as Absolutely. well? Absolutely. So if there's, we don't have a barcode scanner on here whether it be a, a manual barcode scanner uh, or you know, a, a wireless or a wired barcode scanner uh, from your program or from the barcode that's being generated from microvellum, 
definitely something that we can pull up here. Uh, what it would do is change the program. Obviously the operator still has to know which tape he's putting in the machine. It's not that smart, <laughs> right? But uh, we, we do have that little bit of operator intervention still there, but by all means, yeah, whatever's coming pushing for microvellum will be, uh, will be read from here as well. So tell us a little bit about sanding. Back in 2011, I believe, uh, we purchased Viet. Uh, Viet is known around the world to have the most worldwide uh, patents uh, for sanding technology. Uh, so integrating Viet, or Viet into BSU was a huge step forward and propelled us you know, to, to what I think as the premier in the market. Uh, there's some other brands that are out there that uh, we would put ourselves up you know, easily on par with those guys that, that have always been in sanding that I won't name names, but uh, Viet is definitely one of those brands that uh, you would want to look at for sanding. So today we're actually showing our uh, Viet S2, uh, which is our veneer sander. So this has a drum, drum, and a combi unit, as well as our IPA pad. So our IPA pad is our electronic segmented pad, where we can have the, the, the pressures as low as a 0.5 bar, okay? So when you're sanding veneers and you get that over sand, we can actually ease off so we know that we're not gonna sand through uh, veneers. Veneers today are getting thinner and thinner, so it's, it's harder and harder for, uh, for any human to try to not sand through that veneer. So with the, uh, the S2, we have our IPA pad on here, and as I said, with a 0.5 bar that, uh, that allows us to ease off uh, on, the, on, on the sand. Um, what we actually just had here, and we had removed it on Friday this past week, was a big brush sander, so our Opera 5 XLL. Uh, so the brushing sanding is, is a huge thing for BSE as well. So guys making MDF doors off the CNC, trying to get in and, and, and sand the contours, the profiles, the shakers. Uh, the brush sander is, is an essential thing because a drum just can't cut it, right? So uh, unfortunately we had to pull it out because again, customer demands uh, said we want our machine here. And uh, so we, we had to happily oblige, but uh, it kind of left a void on our floor. So yeah, that's great. So you've got lots of great machines, uh, but everybody's interested in, you know, what happens after I put that machine down. So tell us a bit about your service and yeah. Uh, how that works for BSE. Yeah, so obviously with every machine that, uh, that we send out to a customer, we do the full installation. Uh, so you're gonna have uh, you know, the full BSE tech and these are all certified BSE technicians that are all employed by BSE. We don't use any outside uh, uh, help for that. So these are all BSE techs. Um, service and support, we have a 24 hour hotline that uh, you know, if you're working after hours, obviously we have our, our eight to five, which is our regular guys. Um, but then anything 24 hour or after hours, you would have a 24 hour support. Um, phone service, uh, local technicians in Ontario, and we have technicians across Canada, right? So, um, you know, our Eastern, our Eastern uh, techs based in Montreal would service Montreal, uh, a little bit over the border, just on the border of Kingston, uh, Ottawa there, and then everything sort of east. Um, for Ontario, our techs are pretty much in Ontario with the exception of sometimes if our outside, if our other techs in the other provinces are busy, then we sometimes have to help out and pull them away. And then we have our techs in Western Canada as well. So all certified BSE technicians, all uh, full employees of, of BSE. So, yeah. yeah that's great. Uh, so this is a great place to come and, you know, just get a, an understanding of uh, the different types of equipment and yep. that sort of thing and um, what, uh, what BSE can offer to our, our customers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're open. Our, Door is always open to, to coming in and showing machines and having partners like yourself uh, join us. It's always a big help. Uh, you know, uh, as we know, microvellum will post to pretty much any BSE machine, uh, with the exception of a sander, because there's really nothing you guys can post to that. But uh, you know, it's always a great uh, great to have you guys here. And and uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Hey, thanks so much, Sean. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it.